Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. Reese James returned from injury. That's a bonus. A huge. Well, their best player coming back, yeah. Yeah. It's not Taking bad. after an hour. What do you think of Enzo Fernandez? He looked very good. I think he actually... He was slower than I realised. I, I thought in the World Cup, he was playing more of like a 10, like he was pushed on a little bit more, maybe of an 8. He's definitely more of an 8. Yeah. yeah, but they played him as like a... A five. Well, Gall- the problem is Gallagher doesn't doesn't fix to one area, does he? He's everywhere. I, I, in, in the long run, it's not going to be them two playing together. No. Where do you think Enzo will play the majority of his games at Chelsea? Well, if they get Declan <laughs> Rice, he'll play the eight. Yeah. But then Rice will play the eight. He won't. Well, no, if you have both of them, I think. He'll, he'll, Rice will sit. Enzo looked good. Didn't look worth 105 million, but it's only one game. Yeah. But I, I was genuinely... I can't remember who he was in a foot race with, but I was like, that's... That's not a pace upgrade on Jorginho. He almost scored. He did. A little, yeah, it was a good uh, effort, to be fair. Yeah. What about your man, Mudrick? Yeah, he got dragged in the half-time. Mm. Um, it'll be all right, don't worry. Will he? Yeah. He's only played like 30 games. Yeah. Shakhtar. In, in a year's time, I promise you, we'll be saying he's one of the best wingers in the world, like comfortably. <laughs> Easy. Soon as Potter will get it right, Pot. <laughs> And this Todd Bowley is a lot smarter than people are giving him credit for. Trust me, he knows what he's doing. There's a, there is a plan in place. I don't like, reckon there spend is. money until we win. No, it's not, man. I don't it, reckon there's a plan. Well, well, no one else found the loophole of beating financial fair play like he did. No, other clubs oh. have done that. Not, at, at, not to this have, level. No, not to this level. But the, the fact that he's done it to this level means the loophole's being closed. But Atletico have had multiple players on Wait, so you're saying that five-year contract. You're saying that the reason he's a good boss because he's looped old for an actual fair play. It's, yeah, it's a, clever, it's smart business. Is it smart business? They're just repeating what Man United did, just spend loads of money, and then all of a sudden the players disappear in a few seasons' time and they've made no progress? Well, no, because they're, they're invested in players who, uh, who should be there. For well like researched from years. Chelsea. Bullshit. They just went in and splashed money. So they, well, they didn't even know... They what are you on about? What, what, what they you are on about? young players. I'm, no, I'm, say, I'm saying they're doing it, but they're not signing because Chelsea wanted those players. They came in and then like, oh, Arsenal's after Mudrick. Let's That's a load of shit. Cash. Mate, I'm, I find it hard to believe that these are well-researched. Well, you better believe it. Do you know what? They're, I think they're, they're not, panic. So, no, it's not. No, it's they, not. They have gone for like not world-renowned like young talent. It's not. In, mm. Like Enzo Fernandez has been touted even before the World Cup. By the, yeah, oh, not by me. I haven't seen him play. Apparently, Todd Bowley, literally at, at the World Cup, saw Enzo play and was like I want that one that's bollocks whoever's told you that that is not no, true that was, that was someone from, that was close to the club that no like chance a, a sky no. thing they're like I was watching um, I was listening to Jim White the other day and he was like I've got it on Like, I'm only saying this live on air because it's the truth I, you can believe it whether you want he said Potter Potter's picked Potter and his team have picked all these signings. It's not Todd. Todd Bowley's just the money. He's trusting. He doesn't know football. That he's paid. He knows he's soccer. paying people who do know football. These signings are from Potter and his team. It's I, not him. I disagree. If, well, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> what do you right. mean you disagree? It's because I don't think it's. I don't, I don't think Potter is un, has anywhere near as much control as someone like. It's not Arteta control. Does at why? Why was he willing to get rid of Ziyech to PSG, and then four days later, after that fell apart, which they didn't want to happen, he's starting him again. That can't be part of a plan. Player. Possibly, possibly to keep, try and keep him happy and get him back in the frame. If he wants to get rid of him in the summer. Does he care if he's unhappy? Well, of course he just, could just throw him in the he he he, But he could still be a bad egg if he'd been frozen out or it can affect him. He might, he might be really popular in the dressing room. I think it's extremely rash, desperate. Let's try and get Champions League this season. Let's spend whatever necessary. And they've been absolutely mugged off by everyone. And in the world of football, Why have they been whenever Chelsea, off? by because they've been sure not, they're not willing to stand down when the price is too high. They're like, do you know what? We'll back down on the last day. Well, and like give you say, though. Well, no, this is the thing. Well, Alvarez, they went to him. Arsenal did a great job because they were like, I'm not going to spend what you want us to spend yeah, on Chelsea Tiedo. put a bid in first and then said, no, it's too much. Yeah, no, but he fucking went back in for Alvarez on the last... Not Alvarez, Fernandez. I always, always come Alvarez. Fernandez on the last day. Yeah, I backed down when they instead should have stood the ground and went to plan B. But there is no plan B. But they so did. They, they, they spent 15 million less than Benfica wanted two weeks ago. No, nah, I'm not having this. Like, they, 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 no. What do you mean? You're not having... It's like me saying, oh, the sky's blue and you're going, well, I'm not having this. <laughs> you can't 
can't no. just say just because you say I'm not having it doesn't mean you're right. Uh, no, no they, they, they got they panicked the and desperate on the final day, and they went crawling back. They haven't paid the release yeah, clause. They have. It's not. It's 105. The 120 was the release clause. No, that was 120 no, million euros. They paid 105 million quid. I'm, I'm certain it's, it's not, not the release I'm, clause. I'm, I'm certain they have. It's they went not. To a, they went to a third party financing company to get the money to pay the release clause and then they're going to pay back Wait, did they not have the cash? So no, they didn't have You're telling me, that right? That was always the so problem. They went no, in for them. No. no, they went... That, that might make sense. That's because with with a release clause, you can't pay in instalments. You have to pay it up front. Really? But for them to amortise so, it over the eight so, years... So they, you know how we were saying the other day... They applied the finance. Yeah, basically. But you know how we were saying the other day about every club, yeah. well, even if it's 20 mil, they'll probably pay four yeah, instalments yeah, yeah, yeah. of five mil. So Bowley just don't have 100 mil lying around. Well, no, he, they well, probably do, but it's... It, but they yeah, just it's apply tricky. for finance, not many like a phone. Not many people, no matter how rich you are, have a hundred million just lying in they the They treated Enzo Fernandez like a phone. What? Or a car. <laughs> no, yes. Yeah, so yeah, Rory is right then, sorry. It's... Um, that that's that, I, I was I was thinking no they they definitely haven't because they haven't paid it up front and I, I know with the release clauses it, you have to pay it. <laughs> I bet yeah, there's mad the interest on that though. But it's I, I think I guarantee as soon when Potter gets it right because he will with his signings, Chelsea may push for top four this year if, if they, they they need to get it sharpish the next few weeks. You, next year they'll be a force I promise you. Do you think? But they need a nine in the summer. Do you summer. think Todd Bowley will have the patience though because? He seems like he is a rash man. What does, I, what, why is he rash? He's Where's spend, he come if he's from? spending 600 million he's quid. Where, where's he been rash? He's like Tuchel, like, was it, two what, weeks hey, into hey, his tenure hey, at the club? Hey, I'll back you here. Here's why he's being rash. You look at Newcastle, they've got this injection of cash, but they haven't, gone, they haven't spent 600 mil in two transfer windows. Chelsea have. So do you think that if they don't start clicking, if Potter doesn't start clicking, the Potter a, just go like it's that? It's a different plan. Not every not every team has the same project plan, do they? Yeah, but how long do you give a plan, right? Because he he bought spent two hundred and fifty mil on Tuchel, and then sacked him a few weeks later. Basically, <sighs> how long before he gets mm -hmm. he feels the pressure? Like there's memes he wasn't come out after the Fulham game of him sat there looking up at the sky. How long is he actually going to take the public embarrassment of spending six hundred <laughs> mil? Quite a lot of money goes, to spend. Fuck it, I'm firing. Pot. It is. Quite he a lot didn't of money. fire Tuchel for football reasons. What? So now it's well publicised. It, they had a Ronaldo. massive falling out, and Tuchel was being a, a, a nuisance around the club. Mm. That's well known. Does so that this mean is a guy who has a under the thumb. This or is maybe the great plan. Maybe they just get Are you on with Potter. Potter's whipped. Mm. Soft. No, I don't think he is. No, I think no. he's an elite coach. Yeah, so, so do I. Oh, I, do, I agree. So do I. But I think Todd Bowley's a bit of a loose cannon. I don't, maybe so, but he is. Uh, I don't know what you think. Do you think he's like storming in the dressing room saying, I, you play my boy? Yeah, <laughs> I, I just spent 600 million pounds. I think he's paying FIFA. Yeah. I think he's paying FIFA career road with a financial takeover. <laughs> yeah. I want that one, I want that one, I want that one. Well, shoot my guns, I you. think you're all talking no. absolute horse. Is it because he's American? Mm. It might be. 100%. It's the same thing with Jesse March. Like, it, there's a stigma around... All right, we get it. You went to school in America. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to back my boys, aren't I? <laughs> my, my only point is, I, I, I rate Potter and I actually rate the players he's bringing in, but I just think... Well, no, play, you said uh, Bowley bought no, him? No, but they bring... The, no, I rate, I'm saying I rate Potter and the you, players you that the club's Potter? bringing in. <laughs> what you just I rate Potter. Right. Sorry. Rate, yeah, cheers. Uh, but like, I feel like they're, play they're gambling and it can, they it can easily gamble. go bust. Hey, like, uh, they're not going to go bust. But I tell you they've what, just they're... spent, hang on. Him no, I'm not saying bust. I mean, in the term like that, they group. put all the chips in and they can just like Him and this investment it. group are, are, are billionaires for a reason, right? They, they've just spent three billion on this club. They've just reinvested another 600 million. They're not going to get bust or skinned. No, it, I'm not saying in terms of it's not going But they're seeing it as a long-term investment they're not going to go and spend 600 million the next two windows look I think here's the, issue, here's the issue with, Liver, uh, with Chelsea is the fact that there's no stability within the actual football team because I know they are making all these signings stuff which means they're having to make a lot of changes got a little fact here Potter has made 64 changes to Chelsea starting 11 is 15, he doesn't know his best team in 15 Prem games so obviously he needs time to work out his team and it happens a lot it's the second most in a manager's first 15 games in charge of a club in Premier League history guess who was first most changes yeah. in what, just 15 in general? matches, in the first 15 matches. Uh, matches. Benitez. Tuchel at Chelsea, 66 changes. Uh, why didn't I just read it and, <laughs> and say that? <laughs> Tuchel. How long do you think it will take Potter to realise his, his best 11? He or do you think do it's not going to be the season? He's got to look how many players he's got to fucking play before he can And even also, in fairness to Chelsea, they've had a lot of injuries, so his players are coming back in who haven't been... Mm -hmm. So he may, he, may, he may start to get an idea of what he thinks his best team is right now, but in two weeks when he's got four players back, 
it's going to be different. <laughs> but I just put some respect on Bowley's name. Nah. It might pay off, but I'm, I see just a B Tech Man United when they just went sports, oh, just players full of crack, and they just never worked out for years. And now they started being responsible, getting actual players in. Wakehorse, the goat, and they're doing well. He is a goat. The goat. Wakehorse is a goat, but he's not done much for United. Uh, anyways, lads, where do you think Chelsea are going to finish this season? Sixth, seventh, eighth. 